Um, passing on your genes is not immortality. So we're going to talk about this crazy idea that people have that if they have children, then that, they'll live forever through their children. It's so stupid. Passing on your genes is not immortality. <sighs> yeah, it's a crazy idea. It's been ingrained in us through culture. It's kind of a uh, Darwinian idea, too, that uh, that's, that's true success in life is having children. Uh, it's not. It's not true success. True success is living forever physically yourself it's true 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 success true immortality is preserving your own consciousness forever not your child's consciousness that's not you you are not your child therefore if your child if you have a child that that's not benefiting you unless you get to live forever it's all about yourself getting to live forever get my point this is the wrong idea here. Albert Einstein said this stupid thing, and I'm going to judge him for it right now. Maybe he's not, uh, he's an unjust, he's not such a genius after all. He said, our death is not an end if we can live on in our children and the younger generation, for they are us. Our bodies are only wilted leaves on the tree of life. What a poetic, romantic thing to say, but it's a bunch of garbage. It's a bunch of hooey. Okay? We cannot live on in our children. He says, for they are us. No. No, Albert. Our children are not us. It's so stupid. Okay. Very wrong. You know, a lot of these philosophers, these, you know, people who are thought of as being really smart and like geniuses and everything, they're really not that smart on the most important topics like living forever they're kind of dumb and he was one of these one of these examples of someone who's really not that smart on this topic you know equating having children with immortality or living on through them or something it's so stupid okay this is the attitude people have in their minds um either consciously or subconsciously they think that if they have a child that they're that's going to give their life meaning even after they're dead. They think this is a way to kind of cheat death is by having children. No, sorry. Sorry to burst your bubble. No. If you die, even if you had thousands of children, let's say you had, you had millions of children, like the Mormons. Let's say you just like spread your seed across the entire land. If you die, if you die your life is meaningless. If you die and cease to exist, get that through your head. Stop self-deluding yourself with coping mechanisms. Because that's all this this thing is. It's a fake immortality. It's symbolic. It means nothing. Um, but people are desperate, okay? People are desperate to fool themselves. Because uh, death is so terrifying that they want to feel like they can escape it through such means as having children. Because it's having children is pretty easy, right? It's not that hard to find someone and have some children, and it, they don't want. And living forever physically is so much harder. So rather than pursue the the harder goal, which seems nearly impossible to most people, they want to pursue the easy goal of just having children and thinking, and then deluding themselves and thinking, oh yeah, that's now I'm going to live forever through my children or something. Some crazy, stupid thing like that. 